Ahead of Christmas celebrations, we're talking holiday hazards. Each day this week, I'll show you a toy or item consumer and product experts want you to know a little bit more about before you get them for your kids. Open the roof, climb in, let go. According to the annual Trouble in Toyland report released last month by the United States Public Interest Research Group, loud toys are a big concern this year. Many toys, including brand name ones from VTech and Fisher Price, measured high decibel levels, yet still fall in line with federal standards. For instance, this airplane measures at 85 decibels at ear and about 70 at about 20 inches. Hearing instrument specialist Gary Holler says noisy toys like these could have a lasting impact on kids. A child's skull is thinner than an adult, so uh, they, their cochlea can be damaged, you know, easier. Mm -hmm. But that would have, you'd have to expose them a long time at that level. When you get a little bit louder than that, then you, you can do some instant damage. Huller says a good rule of thumb is if it's too loud for you as an adult, it's too loud for your kids. He says anything higher than 90 decibels is a red flag for kids developing ears. Be sure to join us as we take a look at the dangers of another type of potentially toxic contamination, this time in a plastic. Holiday hazards continue tomorrow morning at 540 and 640.